All right, welcome back to the channel today. We have made it. We have made it to season four of Stranger Things. <sighs> I'm kind of sad. I'm excited, but I'm also kind of sad because I don't want this to be over. I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot, but there are nine episodes in this season. And oh my God, these episodes are long as hell. It's like 78 minutes, 77, 64, 79, 76, 77, 98, 85, 150. Those, yeah, these are pretty goddamn long episodes. But this season came out very recently, earlier this year. I think in like April slash May-ish, that's when the season came out. Now, I'm going to be completely honest. I didn't see any spoilers on Twitter or anything, but I, I saw like minor things, you know? I saw like the memes that were made from this season, you know? So it doesn't spoil anything within the story, but it's like, I know in one episode, there's a guy who has a sick ass guitar solo. And then like the, also the meme of like Mike and Will in the car and like Will's just sad as hell, like crying in the car, you know? And, and then like the meme where it's like, where it's like what Will's doing or whatever, he's crying. And then it's like what Mike sees and it's just the back of Will's head. And it's just like a fucking stick figure with a bowl cut. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like that shit was pretty funny it even even had a context like i was like oh my fucking god but anyway but anyway also in the last season in the last episode of the last season we lost someone we lost motherfucking jim hopper bro we lost jim i oh my god he sacrificed himself so that Joyce could t could close the gate, but it completely disintegrated him and he gave her the nod of approval saying it's all good. It, you have to do it. You have to do it now. And she did it and killed him. RIP Jim, RIP Jim. It ended with Joyce and Jonathan and Will. And I, they, I guess they adopted Eleven and they moved. Now, pretty sure they went to Maine pretty sure whatever they're somewhere on the east coast uh, somewhere over there you know they all moved they all said their goodbyes and they left now obviously they can't have a season with one of them across the fucking country so with four of them across the fucking country so it's like okay so they're gonna come back to hawkins but i'm sure the gate won't open again until they all come back to hawkins they're there and then the gate opens somehow so you know it's kind of like the, it's kind of the same story every season you know, it's like, okay, the gate opens, it affects Will, they gotta find a way to stop it, and close the gate. It's happened three times now. Oh, I know in the first, no, in the first season, Elle just kind of waxed the monster, and then the second and third season, they closed it. But, you, you guys know what I'm trying to say. It's kind of repetitive. So I hope in this season, it's a lot different. I kind of hope someone else dies in this season, not even gonna cap, because it puts more weight on what they have to do because in the past two seasons they won without it without losing anyone or taking any serious damage and it's like okay well that's just gonna happen again but no if like somebody dies it's like oh no sacrifices have to be made in order to win you know and that, that's what i like to see so i hope something like that kind of happens later down in the season so but anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon, as well as early access to the next two episodes of Stranger Things Season 4 will be available on Patreon. So let's get started. Okay. All right. Okay, we got a message. We filmed this season of Stranger Things a year ago, but given the recent tragic shooting at a school in Texas, viewers may find the opening scene of episode one distressing. And we are deeply saddened by this unspeakable violence and our hearts go out to every family mourning a loved one okay well that, that's nicer than the point because like the same thing kind of happened with kenobi in the very first scene of kenobi it showed like a flashback of order 66 and a bunch of younglings died like five five of them died and i know they got a lot of backlash for that but yeah it was like the show was filmed a year ago the show was filmed like more than a year ago prior it's not like it's not like they literally did that on purpose, but still, okay. It's nice. It's nice to see they at least put that. Damn, bro, you're gonna break a fucking window throwing it that hard. Damn. You know, I was gonna say this could be Joyce in her new house, but those hands are definitely not hers. Mm, 
I had a feeling. I had a fucking feeling. You know, I saw the white hair on the hand. And I was like, it could be him. It could be. All right. Hawkins National Laboratories. And also in season two, episode seven, we found out he's he was alive still, so. Mm-hmm. That looked like Ellen Cowley. Damn, there's hella kids in here with powers. Bro, this fucking manufacturing the goddamn Avengers. No, this is, this is literally Vought, bro. I love him. Yep, you can literally see what he's drawing. Is he drawing a dick? No. Something is wrong. Oh no. Bust the visual, just let it go. Try to reorient. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> oh fuck. Are they killing them? Ten. Oh, uh, did the gate open and, and the fucking Dem the demogorgons get through? Dead. Yep, dead. They're both dead. Oh no, it's it's the demigorgons. They're here. Hmm. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Feel like that door, that impact of the door should have fucking killed him. Oh, it killed ten. Uh, is that L? What have you done? Oh, it was oh, it was L that did it. Oh my God! Have you done? I'm pretty sure that's L, but bro, she fucking killed everyone. Oh my gosh, she got a, got a little fucking rebellion. Wait, David Harvey, that fool died. What? How is this? How's this fool in the show? What? All right, whatever. Damn. I thought it was like okay, the gate opened or something, and then like the demigorgons came through, and like, but no, it was all. Oh. She she just went fucking homelander on everyone. Well, that's what happens when you fucking have a. That's what happens when you keep her locked up like that, you know. And she's just a science experiment. You're gonna go fucking rogue. Can't look at her the same after seeing that opening scene. That's probably what the warning was about. Today is day 185. Aw, all right, so L's in school. She always has a new job. She gets to work at home. Mmm. Me too. Will is painting a lot, but he, he won't show me what he's working. Oh, Will looks so much older too. I think I forgot to mention in the intro. Like, I want to see how much older the kids are too, again. I think he's just nervous about college. Oh, this fool is stoner now. But I don't know how he'll ever get to college because his car is still broken. Damn, RP car. Put work on that car, bro. Is longer than mine. And he and Jonathan like to. Oh, that's Jacob from Twilight. <laughs> yeah, smoking the devil's lettuce. Adapted. Okay, yeah, that fool does need to slow the fuck down. That fool's all of ass. This fool's gonna run over a kid on his fucking bike. Also. Oh, we're in California. All right. I am ready for spring break. Mostly because I get to see you. Aww. I am so excited to see you. It is hard to breathe. Bro, she looks so much like Joyce now. <laughs> Yo, get the fuck out of my way, bitch. At the best spring break ever. Who the fuck? <laughs> bro, throw that fool out the window, bro. What the hell are you doing? It's 10 after. Oh, shit, shit. shit. <laughs> you have 30 seconds or I'm leaving without uh, you. Mike. Just call it the high school dropout club. I want you home no later than 9 tonight, okay? Yeah, okay. That's real supportive. It's a 6.30 flight, Michael. Yeah, I know, but... No buts. Nine or no California. Dude, that's easy. Bro, the cinematography style is... It's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I can tell the difference from the last season, you know? I like it so far. It made the opening scene a lot more intense. And, like, the way that Brennan was going about his day, it was like, oh, okay. It's a different... Oh, Susie and Dustin. 
in there. You're gonna be late. Don't come in. I'm naked. <laughs> okay, Dustin looks a lot older. Mike, Mike looks older, but he still looks like a fucking kid. I don't know how to explain it. Like he like his he still looks like he's 12, but just in like a six foot frame. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then there's Heidi Tarn, I but <laughs> Steve. Aw, Steve and Robin. It's ball pep rally. You expect me to believe that? Yeah, so. So. Aw. Okay, I'm not buying that bullshit. This is about Vicky. Absolutely not. Yes, it is. And you know what else I think? Bring me to me. You do realize that. Well, maybe you need to listen to yourself. You ever think about that, Smarty Pants? I mean, I listen to you and now look at me. Boom. Back up. Yeah, dude, I swear the people who give the best advice don't take their own advice. <laughs> Oh, Max. Aw, oh, Robin's so shy. And not my girlfriend is better than yours. <laughs> Bro, school rallies are not this late. What the fuck? Oh, that's Lucas! Ah, uh, Bro, Lucas looks jacked, bro. Damn. Good for him. And of course. Of course, I have to Aww. give a special shout out to the best in the- Wait, are they not cool? I thought they were. I guess they never got back together. Chrissy, I love you, babe. Shut the fuck up. No kidding. No. I didn't- No, dude. No. I didn't- I never knew one person in school who had the nuts to give a speech like that. Say I love you to your girlfriend in front of everyone. When I say, it's been a tough year for Hawkins. No, it was a tough year for us, not you. When we were down by 10 points at half to Christian Academy, I looked at my team. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I hate this guy. I'm sorry. I, ha I hate this guy already, bro. Think about our heroic police chief, Jim Hopper. R.I.P. Jim Hopper. R.I.P. Billy. No! Let's win this game! Bro, this is such a bullshit speech. Oh my god. Yeah, they fucking hate this speech, bro. No. Championship trophy! What the f I hate this fool, bro. <sighs> like, I get he's making everyone hide, but I... <sighs> Just talk to Eddie. Get him to move Hellfire to another night. I need you. Yeah, and the Tigers don't. You've been on the bench all year. Oh. If I get in good with these guys, I'll be in the popular crowd, and then you guys will be too. Ah, uh, no, Lucas, that's the, wor that's the worst approach. So you want to be stuck with the nerds and freaks for three more years? We are nerds and freaks. Yeah, but maybe we don't have to be. Bro, are they only freshmen? Hellfire, come to my game. Please. Yeah, I mean, that's valid. Like, like Lucas, he wants to be popular. He wants, he just wants to have friends. And I, I think he just wants to have fun, you know? That's why he's on the team. That's why he's trying to get cool with everyone there. You know, because like, I don't know. I wasn't that popular in high school. And like, it was all right. It was kind of boring, you know? It kind of makes me wish, like, yeah, I talked to other people, too, and got cool with them, so I could have had a better high school experience, but I'm happy with the way it went. But it's like, yeah, I, I probably could have had a better experience if I was more social, you know? But besides the, that point, I think they could, I think they should just go to the game to support their, their friend, Lucas. Like, skip it. You could just, I'm pretty sure Hellfire is your D&D &D game, so just reskip too. It's just a game of D&D. &D. Literally have it the next day. You know, you can reschedule the D&D game to go support your friend rather than skip the game and go play D&D. &D. What the fuck? Damn, bro. Choice is fucking this box up. The fuck? Singer singing in Russian? Oh, hell no, bro. Hell no. This is a message from the Russians. Because that's, yeah... This is a, there's a bomb, bro. That's gonna blow up. Okay, yeah, because the last, the post credits of the last season ended with the Russians having a fucking demodog that literally turned into a grown ass man standing up and killed some guy. So the Russians are still fucking with this shit. And that is why I have chosen Helen Keller as my hero. Helen Keller was a myth, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> she did not write a book. I'm sorry. Helen Keller was deaf and blind. How could she ever learn a language? There is no possible way. I'm sorry. I chose my dad. Aww. Let's be respectful. Bro, they're all just clowning her for choosing her dad. Bro, he was an actual hero, bro. Okay. 
He made the best egos. Bitch, get the fuck off me. Uh, fuck you, don't raise your hand. Uh, fuck you, you're gonna say some bullshit. Fuck you. Fuck Angela, bro. She's gonna say some bullshit. I just don't think that's what Mrs. Gracie meant by historical. This is supposed to be about famous people? Okay, fine. Fine, my dad, he could have been selfish and then just never sacrificed himself so people like you could fucking die. Fuck, fuck this bitch. And he was my hero too. Yeah. Perhaps. I just wanted clarity on the rules of the agreement. Bitch, shut the fuck up. <sighs> Bro, at least she didn't pick someone that was a, literally a fucking myth. Like, Helen, Helen Keller existed, but her, it's all cap, like... What she accomplished was Kath, I'm sorry. Bro, this song goes hard. <laughs> Bro, this song's going on the playlist. <laughs> yeah. That's not normal for you. Sorry, my older brother just fucking died. Must not be easy for you either, with your stepdad gone. It's oh. kind of better, honestly. Yeah, fuck that fool, bro. He just totally dipped. Fuck that fool. He was bro. an asshole? Yeah, he was abusive. Nightmares. Uh, nah, just fucking PTSD about seeing my brother fucking die right in front of me. Seeing a fucking tentacle out of a fucking monster rip through his fucking chest, you know? Doesn't bother me at all. Oh, Lucas, you really care about this? Yeah, I, I do. But maybe you should find something you care about too. Oh, Lucas. Why would you say that? I know something's wrong. Good luck. Damn. I fucking feel that one. I mean, Lucas had good intentions, you know, but his approach, not the best. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Is it going to affect her instead of Will this season? I think I, I think that's where we're going. But wait, her name doesn't start with a B, so I don't know. Like, people's name who start with the letter B just get... They die. They die. I got Barbara, Bob, and Billy. I forgot to mention that in the intro, too, if it's going to follow that trend. Please just go away. All right, later. Are you deaf? I said go away. It, she did. Chrissy? Oh no. Chrissy? Uh... You're ready to try on the dress. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> ah! Ah! Open the goddamn door, Chrissy! Ah! Oh, that's terrifying. Did you hear me? Bro, I, I don't know what I would do if I, her, if I was her. I would not want to leave that fucking stall. I'd be chilling there for like hours, bro. I'd wait till someone else came in until I would get out of that stall. And or science or bro, what are you doing? Get off the table, bro. What are you doing? You want something, freak? <laughs> we were talking shooting the shit and we were thinking we're gonna go support our boy we might postpone what? Well, yeah. no. over my dick you, you want to postpone yeah because the cult of vecna yeah we're gonna go support him at the game hey i am army crawling my way toward a dms odon that's on you bro bro it's not my fault your fucking gpa starts with a fucking decibel out of here. <laughs> Didn't you say that last year? And the year before that. Oh, so this was a fucking super senior. Where the hell have you been? I have karate from one to Murray. Oh, he does karate. What, this was a black belt? Damn. Too bad that shit's fucking worthless. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I'm not. They should have made him like a purple belt in jujitsu. That'd be way cooler. And they want to find out who you are. They will. Yep. They will. Trust me. What? A creepy doll. Can you remove her dress? Is there a message under it? 
Yeah, like the porcelain cracked and they tried to glue it. Open that, open that. You said there's lots of reasons he's not coming. Such a this fool is going to be the reason why they fucking break up. I'm calling it right now. They're going to break up because of this fucking kid. Don't you have this grand plan to go to some fancy schmancy college, a.k.a. money pit together? Mm-hmm. That hasn't passed the smell test, man. In fact, it stinks to high heaven. Okay, the fool Nancy's talking to, that fool's a fucking moron. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. It's gonna make Nancy hate Jonathan and they're gonna break up. Fred, fuck Fred. He's not like you. He's caring and <laughs> compassionate. Yeah, exactly. That's why I love her. That's why I love him. Mm -hmm. Everything between us is perfect. Aww. I like that. I like how I was cutting back and forth and they're like finishing each other's sentences. Hmm. Uh, whatever. Besides, I mean, I I really dig this. Oh, wait, Steve still work? Yeah, Steve, yeah. Him and Rob, he, him and Rob work at the video store. Uh, we got, oh, just like Robin said, we got the girls coming in to see Steve. Cool t-shirts? <laughs> yes. Really? Everyone. She's gonna say no. And if you... You're being sarcastic. Yeah. I hate high school. Me too. Oh, this is the thumbnail of the episode. What does he see? What? 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 Dustin, where are you going? Just trust me! Okay. Tell me things! Wear a helmet! Are you talking about? <laughs> Wear a helmet. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. Sorry. Eddie? What the fuck are you doing out here? Are you gonna murder me? She's tripping. What, is he gonna like sell our weed or something? Yep, he is. How does this work? You give me money, I give you weed. That's how it happens. It should last you a while. Damn, she's hell paranoid. Well, I mean, I would be too. I'd be tripping. To do this, just give me the word, and I'll just walk away. Okay? No, it's not that I don't. Wait, 20 for half an ounce? Or is that a hell of a good deal? I don't smoke, so like, I never buy it, so it's like, I don't know. Do you ever feel like. You're losing your mind. Yes, every day, bro. As soon as I wake up. This isn't the first time that we've, um, hung out. No? You remember? I'm sorry. That's okay. She doesn't remember you, bro. Oh! oh. I wouldn't remember me either, Chrissy. This feels so dramatic. He's really charismatic, though. Very charismatic. I like him so far. No, you just... You looked so different. Yeah. Well, uh, my yeah. Um, I was actually of eight. I was the proper age back then. I'm 22 now, still in high school because I'm a super senior. Do you have anything, maybe, stronger? Yeah, I got some coke. I got some perks. Got some Xanax. Got some fentanyl. Like. Very disappointing, Jane. Let's talk after break. Oh, this teacher's a bitch. I already know it, bro. This teacher. Bitch. Oh my god. I'd beat her fucking ass right now. I would beat her fucking ass. Oh, make her trip. Just flick flick your fingers, make her trip. But oh my god. I'm breaking that fool's fucking knee. I'm going like this and I'm breaking their fucking legs as they're walking away. But at the end of the last episode, last season, she like couldn't use her powers and Mike was like, they'll come back, so Angela! Yeah. Beat her ass. No, it's no, no. It's, she doesn't have her powers, and no. Shit! What the hell was that? No. I, I'm, I'm embarrassed for her, bro. <laughs> Jane, did someone do this? It was that bitch right there. No, rat her ass out, right? No, too nice, Jane. Too nice. Oh, she already knows it was Angela. All right. So everyone knows Angela's just a bitch. All right, that's how the teachers just already know. It's it's not that bad. It's pretty bad, bro. Together. Yeah, Aw. Will being the great friend he is. Bro, I feel like this is so unnecessary. Just take a fucking hammer. And just... Pregnant with an explosive device, you will soon be. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, I, yep, got it. One more thing. <laughs> Joyce, are you there? Talk to. There's no bomb. There's no. There's no bomb. Like 
Oh, there's just a me there's just a note in there. Okay. Hop is alive. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! No way. Bet. Oh, I thought that was about to be I thought that was about to be the end of the episode. Oh my God! We still got forty fucking minutes left. Holy shit! Yeah, we're losing this fucking game. Okay, she does sound like a mom. Oh my god, totem. Sounds like a mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Robin, make her laugh, make her laugh. Our class together. We were, we were, we were Mrs. Click's class together. Yeah. <sighs> okay, Robin, you're trying, to, you're trying too hard now. You're trying too hard here. Robin, just be yourself. That's all you gotta do. But that's kind of what happens when, like, you try to, like, force talk to someone that you don't really know, but you like. Or, like, you want to get to know. It's not natural, because you're trying to force it. If you're just hanging out with them in, like, a natural setting, then, like, yeah. It, it's way smoother, based on my experience. Because I cannot talk to people I don't know. Oh, his friends aren't there. They didn't pull up. All right, Lucas, you got to go win this game, because they aren't there. Hey, it's Erica. She looks how old, she looks older too. Are we gonna keep chit chatting like this is your mommy's book club? She's in. Welcome yep. to Hellfire. He's impressed. All right, Lucas. Since your boy's gonna pull up, you gotta drop sixty, bro. Fuck off! Shut the fuck up! I hate this one so much. This one's so corny. Vecna. Bro, it sucks Will's all the way in California now because I feel like he would really have a lot of fun in this club. Like, he'd be perfect for it, you know? Ooh, <laughs> what the? That's not legal. Nah, do it to that. Do it to the corny asshole, bro. Number 10 did not. Number 10 did deserve that. The other guy did. Bro, if Bailey was still alive, he would. Oh, Lucas is in. Bro, but if Billy was still alive, I already know he'd drop fucking 40 every game. Oh, <laughs> uh, Lucas, it's gonna come down to Lucas making the game winning shot. And does he make it or does he fold? Does Lucas sell or does he does he make it? Does he have that clutch gene? Because we're not delusional. Delusional? How about not cowards? Hey! Nah, bro. Don't be Stan's Baratheon, you dip. Keenan back is gonna free up Patrick on the left. Wait, no, no, no. You gotta let me take the shot. Nah, bro. Lucas is taking the shot. I already know. To kill the son of a bitch. Winners find a way to win. Let me find a Fuck you, dude. No, you're not Tom Brady. Fuck you. Give me the ball. Give me the D20. This fool really thinks he's Tom Brady. <laughs> Oh, pussy. Oh, they lost. And come on, Lucas. Save this shot. <sighs> yes, Lucas. Sink this shit. Kobe this shit. Come on. Come on, Erica. Come on, Lucas. Ah, uh, buzzer beater. I really hope Lucas doesn't miss, bro. I really hope he doesn't. Ah! <gasps> oh! That <I, I> could <laughs> Let's fucking go, Lucas! Let's go, Lucas. Good shit, Erica, too. Good shit. The Sinclair family came through today. They both have that clutch gene. Bro, get Lucas some throat right now. <laughs> Bro, he's about to go to a party after this and get some mad sloppy toppy. Uh, they... Damn. And he sees his friends coming out. Yep, Mike and Dustin ditched him to go to Hellfire. He's going with the team instead of his boy. Yeah. I'd feel kind of betrayed too if I was Lucas. I'd be kind of butthurt if like my friends didn't pull up to the game or whatever to support. And especially if I hit a fucking game winner in the fucking championship.
Like, I'd be pretty hurt. I'm not gonna lie. But honestly, to be fair, I probably wouldn't want them there anyway. Because I wouldn't want them to watch me in case I fuck up and have a bad game. That's just me personally. Like, I did a jiu-jitsu competition. I wanted nobody I know to go, though. I was like, bro, if I get fucking waxed, I want no one to see that. But if I, like, asked them to go and they didn't, then I'd be pretty hurt, you know? Hmm, <laughs> that kind of scared me. Sorry I'm late, sweetheart. Oh, that's guitar. <laughs> No, no. Eddie, did you find it? Just loosening this up for you, sweetheart. Mm, it's her mom, so it's the fucking demon. You. Probably important painting. Dad! Dad! Uh, oh. God damn. Yeah, she was just tripping in her head. Like she's still with Eddie, but she. And she Chrissy. Oh, oh, she's just. <gasps> bro, she's just standing there like a fucking NPC. She's stuck in her own head right now. Chrissy, wake up! I don't like this, Chrissy. Wake. Up. Yeah, I don't like this either. <laughs> The, what the fuck is this? Like... Oh my god, it's a fucking White Walker. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's time... What the fuck? For your suffering... Uh. To end. Oh, to end. Oh, he's gonna kill her, so... Yeah, she's gonna die right here, and then in reality with Eddie, she's just gonna die. <gasps> oh! Pfft. Oh! I just fucking screamed. Okay. 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 That guy, he, I'm gonna guess he's gonna be a problem. I think he's gonna be a problem, guys. I think it's. Uh, fuck. Alright, I feel like that's the most powerful villain antagonist that we've ever had so far. Holy shit. But, okay, first impressions. Uh, I think this season. This first episode was amazing so far. I thought it was great. You know, I love the aesthetic of it and the cinematography style. I love that. So yeah, this was a really fun episode. This was a really fun episode. But all right, let's talk about it. All right, so that was season four, episode one of Stranger Things. Very good episode, honestly. Okay, I feel like this was the best episode one in all of the seasons so far. I, can't, I feel like this is gonna be the best season so far. You know, I feel like this was the strongest episode. It was the most entertaining episode. It introduced all the characters really well. And I, I like a lot of the new characters. Um, I like Eddie. He, he's really charismatic. Seems like a pretty cool guy. I like that other guy that was talking to, uh, was talking to Jonathan. I didn't get his name, but I was like, oh, that's, I was like, oh, that's Jacob from Twilight. Like, okay. It's just because the long hair made me think of that. Wait, 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 wait. You know what? Wait, you know what I just realized? You know what I just fucking realized? Fucking, I'm pretty sure that same guy played Jacob in the parody movie Vampire Suck. That's why I thought of him as Jacob in Twilight. Oh my fucking God. If you know, you know, okay? If you know, you know. That movie was so fucking funny. But okay, anyway, anyway. Okay, so I was wrong in the in the intro. I said, okay, I think they'll come back to Hawkins. No, they're still separated. So, and they didn't move to Maine or they didn't go to the East Coast. They moved to California, you know, which, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't, okay, it said where in California, but I don't, I don't recognize where that is. So I'm going to guess it just felt like a SoCal area. 
I'm guessing, I don't know, it kind of feels like they're in Orange County. I don't know, that's just a guess or whatever. It's probably, it could be completely wrong. Like they could be in fucking Bakersfield or like Fresno. My condolences if they are, but like they could be somewhere like that. It doesn't matter, whatever, it doesn't matter. You could tell that, okay, Elle and Will, they missed their friends back in Hawkins, you know. <sighs> it's a tough scene. Jonathan and Nancy, they, they're planning to see each other, but they're both waiting till they get accepted to college and everything. Like Jonathan wants to wait till he gets his acceptance letter to college because supposed to be on the way so he's waiting and he wants to be there when it gets there so it's like okay he's kind of waiting to see nancy till then you know i feel like that dude nancy was talking to like her co-worker or whatever is gonna be be the reason why they fucking break up like he's gonna he's he's problematic he's gonna plant seeds in her head and then it's just gonna go downhill i'm calling it now then with the boys it kind of seems like dustin and mike they're still they're still boys they're still playing D, &D. they're in the hellfire club with eddie and everything but they it kind of sucks that they had to bail on they bailed on lucas to go play D, &D. i get it's important to them but like still it's like that's your boy you know it just kind of shows you that they're not as close anymore and they're drifting away they're drifting away as friends like lucas i mean you know i'm i'm assuming they're freshmen in high school now and lucas he wants to be with the popular kids because he just wants to have a fun experience but mike and dustin they don't really care about that they just they're they're sticking to their roots you know they just want to be themselves and kind of just kick it and play D, &D you know like old times but I don't blame Lucas for kind of trying to do that because like I said earlier in the video, I didn't have too many friends in high school and like thinking about it like, okay, yeah, I had a decent experience, but it's like, I never went to parties. I never really did anything like that. And it's kind of like, well, I wish I got to experience it just like a little bit, you know, but it's whatever now. So like, I get where Lucas is coming from. It's probably just like FOMO he has, you know, cause like I kind of have that. Like since I never experienced it in high school or anything, it's kind of like my friends are like, oh, you want to go out and do something? And it's like, my like immediate thought is kind of like, nah, not really, you know? But then it's like, nah, I don't want to miss out on anything fun. You know, I want to, I want to have that experience and just know what it's like at least, you know? So I'm kind of just thinking the FOMO is what is driving Lucas to kind of like go towards those people in high school rather than stay with the boys, you know, and just kind of be more low key. He wants to, you know, he just wants to have a good experience. So I don't blame him for that. Wait, you know what the show reminded me of a lot? It reminded me of Euphoria. Like, I was like, okay, I feel like I'm watching Euphoria right now. Holy shit, you know? But like they low key did it better in this than in Euphoria. I and like one thing too is like Max kind of seems like she's all by herself now. She doesn't really have anyone, you know. Like yeah, I think she's still cool with Dustin and Mike, but she doesn't really talk to them, and she didn't want to go play D and D. Maybe that's just a D and D thing, or she just you know kind of wanted to be by herself. I mean, she's going through a lot, so like you know, kind of probably just wants space, you know. And then like with Elle and Will, I mean like at least they have each other, you know. But like still, they're kind of going through the same thing over that over in California, you know, and then Elle gave a presentation about her father, who's her hero, which is totally valid. I think I guess it was on like famous people or whatever. But like, I think that's I think that's pretty valid. You know, it means something to her. That's her fucking father. And then that bitch Angela was just disrespecting the fuck out of her for it. Like, bro, you're disrespecting her and her father. Like, bro, you don't fucking do that. Like, there's people I don't like, but I'll never say anything about their parents. Be what I call it because it's like that's just something you never say like no you never do that i get their kids but like still dog or are they like how old are they supposed to be now like pretty sure they're like 15 14 the last season so what they're probably like well no if they're freshmen then they're like 14 15 now that's how old i was when i was a freshman so it could be like 15 it could be like 15 16 depends what month they were born in i guess no when i was a freshman i turned 15 so okay i don't know whatever but like fuck that bitch angela and then ellen tried to stand up to her and use her power and like uh, i didn't really i uh, was just that was kind of sad not gonna lie <sighs> so i guess her powers aren't back yet i guess it'll take time you know we're definitely gonna need them so Hope they come back pretty fucking soon. But she's in California. It's back in Hawkins. The problem's back in Hawkins. But now that Joyce got that letter saying Hop is alive, she'll probably tell Elle in the next episode, like, what I got this. What the fuck is this? We gotta figure this out. And they'll go find Hop or whatever. Why is this out of fun? Maybe they'll get a word from someone back in Hawkins and they'll pull up then. And then with Joyce, she got that letter. She got that doll from the KGB <laughs> or whatever. And there was a note in it and it said Hop is still alive. Now, okay, I mean... 
I mean, in the intro, when I was playing, um, when the intro was going on, it said David Harbour, and I was like, that, that's the dude who plays Hopper, and it's like, okay, well, I guess he's still in it. I mean, see, that, okay, so that kind of spoiled it, which kind of sucks. You know, I wish, like, for this episode, they would have taken, they would have took his name out of the credits for that. He wasn't even in this episode, like, why even credit him in the beginning if he's not even gonna be in the episode? Like, I get he might be in the show later, but, like, you'd think specifically for this episode, they would take that out. It's like the same thing I had with Game of Thrones Season 6, Episode 2. Like, it's the same fucking problem. Like, take, for, like, this specific episode, take it out. So it doesn't get spoiled for anyone who knows his real life name. And then at the end right there, Chrissy fucking got totally waxed, you know? <laughs> by whatever the fuck that thing was. It seems a lot more powerful than anything we've seen before. Kinda nervous about it. Feel like characters are going to die later on in the season. Uh, my theory is I think it was the Russians that had something to do with it because they were still fucking with it at the end of uh, season three in the post credits. So they're, it's, I'm assuming they're responsible for whatever the fuck this thing is that could, well, okay. I feel like it could be related to the Demodogs. Cause like that Demodog was fucking walking on two feet at the end of the post credit scene. So I don't think it's a Demodog, I doubt it, but it's like, it's somehow related to that. I don't know. <sighs> but anyways, that was Stranger Things season four, episode one. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video and thanks for watching.